This couple has a child that's unfortunately not so well advanced in his class, in his learning. Now, it was not a wealthy couple at all. The Rebbe calls up the parents from Bet Shemesh in Israel, and he tells them, you have to take him to a therapist. It's a specialist. It's, you know, it's not Pashut, it's not easy. You're not doing him a service, we're not taking care of him. You've got to take care of your son. Tell him, what specialist? What therapist? We don't have a doll to our name. So you think we could do this. What specialist? He's like, listen, you've got to take care of your son. Go fund his money. He tells him, you've got to take care of him. The parents were so worried. On one hand, they want to take care of the son. On the other hand, we know these people cost a lot of money, these uh, therapists, specialists. Who has money for this stuff? Okay. What happened was, they say, this happened a couple of weeks ago. A couple of months later, the Rebbe noticed that the child, the boy in the class, suddenly became more sharp. You tell Kharif, he became more sharp. He's understanding his learning. Something happened. He calls up the parents and he says, which specialist did you, sell him to? Did you send him to? Which therapy? He says, Rebbe, no therapy, no specialist. So what did you guys do? Very simple. Every single early afternoon, the husband and the wife sat at the dining room table. They open up a sefer tehillim and they both daven for a half hour saying tehillim for their child. You realize this? Every single day, open up a tehillim. They sat together, dining room table, and said to him together, the husband and the wife, Hashem, please make sure our son becomes smarter. We cannot afford a therapist. Hashem, please help us. Please help us. And look what happened. The boy became smarter. True story. Just happened a couple of weeks ago. The power of tefillah. The power of praying to Hashem. It cannot be underestimated. You want to miss to daven to Hashem, and we have the opportunity the whole day, the whole day. Person goes around to Shatchanim, goes around to investors for money, for doctors, but Hashem, Akadosh Baruch Hu, daven to Him. Do we truly cherish prayer? Do we really utilize tefillah? A person has to really, really chop around to say in Yiddish, really grab the moments of tefillah, but truly daven to Hashem, especially for our children, Bezat Hashem, and our wives and the husbands. Always daven and daven and daven and daven. It makes a tremendous effect in Shemaim.